Peterson, a.k.a. Deke from RelaxShacks.com, author of Humble Home Simple Shacks, and yes, tomorrow, the design, building, uh, alternative creativity school, whatever you want to call it, here in Waitsfield slash Warren, Vermont, hanging out for the tiny house, yes, tomorrow, fair. My brother Dustin, hard at work. It's been a long weekend. You're live, brother. We're here with we're here with one of the uh, newer micro cabins or campers I built and designed called the Cub. It's not done. Super quick sneak peek. Clear wall opens up as a porch canopy. Micro seating area. Fancy hardwood, mock hardwood flooring. Sleep bunk up above. Made with a huge array, we'll get to that in another video when it's finished, of recycled materials. What I want to show you, over here, we're parked next to quite a few tiny houses. Sam from Ecovative brought out this house they're working on. Very cool. I love that triangular window, but even cooler. The main point of this here short vlog video, I want to show you, show you uh, the interior. Again, not outfitted, it's almost like a demo mobile. Here's the truth window. It is insulated, and the binding agent being mycelium, with uh, mushrooms. You might have been reading about this online at this point in time. Some of the blogs have covered it. Tiny house blog, tiny house listings. Uh, what I especially like, aside from, well, they use this secret mushroom compound they will unveil. But it's pretty unbelievable, just saw his presentation. If you have a chance, um, read more into Ecovative. Ecovative.com. What I especially love, there is a sleep loft up here, believe it or not. I don't know what's up there. I'm just holding the camera way over my head. What I love in terms of a space saving measure is this welded steel frame that holds up the loft and serves as the collar ties tying the walls together, creating triangular strength in this tiny house. I was talking to Sam and he told me they've had three or four people up there to test the strength of it and it works so well and saves space. Instead of building, you know, building out with some uh, as collar ties slash your loft support, something with two by fours, even two by sixes that would drop literally about this much. Instead, about an inch and a half with the plywood, in this case, kind of the subfloor on top. It looks like half inch, maybe a three eighths, half inch plywood. Also love the giant slider here entrance or doorway, egress as well, slash gigantic window. If you could imagine this tiny little house here, set up by a lake or a mountain view. As you sit in an armchair here with your fine brandy snifter and cigar, you would have quite the view. Of course, you need curtains at night, you'd have no privacy. But Ecovative.com is the website. Be sure to check them out because this is some cutting edge technology all based around mushroom growth. That's all I wanted to show you. Thanks for joining me once again. I'm Derek Dietrichson, a.k.a. Deke from RelaxShacks.com. See ya.